Hello guys, Kevin here. I'm going to show you guys what I do to um, compress my videos down, to make them a lot smaller, because you know, when recording with Fraps, you get videos that are like 20 gigabytes long. Just let me get this back and I will show you guys an example. Alright, so this video I uploaded a couple days ago. You guys should be able to see it today. Today's Friday, I think. Yeah. Friday. You should be able to see it. Here's an example. Uh, Diablo. Let's see. I think this is the second one. Hello, guys. Kevin here again. I'm back. Alright, this is the compressed one. Oh, I can do that. Awesome. Right, let's minimize this. Let's move this one over. I can uh, open up this. Hello guys, Kevin here again. This is the I'm original. Back. Gonna... This is the original. So there's a bit of a difference. Like you can tell by my character. There's a slight difference. But that's because it's been compressed. What I do to compress them, I don't use Handbrake anymore. I use Windows Movie Maker. Right here. Sorry for the frame rate in the top corner if you guys can see that. No. So once you have Windows Movie Maker, I think this is Windows Movie Maker Live. It usually comes on all Dell computers that you can buy. Not sure if this works with the other Windows. Didn't for me. What you do is you import a video. Let's go to desktop. Let's get this one. This is the Diablo 2. This this episode 2. And play it. Hello guys. Kevin here. It's a little laggy. Still loading the audio. That's why. Okay, still loading audio. Eh. All right. What you do is you go, you come up here, and you'll see this little tab. It's blue. Click down arrow. You don't click publish. You go down to save movie. What you do, you won't see these three options right here. You might see this one, but you won't see these two. What you do is you scroll, you click all the way down to the bottom. You click create custom setting. So once you're here. You don't want to set it to any of these. You want to make a new one. So you keep it at new. I named mine YouTube HD. Because this is 720. Keep the pixels, or the width, and the height the same. 720. Now if you wanted this to be 1080, you change this to 1920. And 1080. If you want to be able to, for people to watch this in 2D. Or... I mean, 1080 pixel, blah, uh, 1280 by 720, all right, and then you want to keep the bit rate at about 8,000, if you think that that's not good enough, then you can change it to 9,000, right here you can see, so here's about the amount of time it takes between each, um, for each minute of video. I usually keep mine about 20 minutes long, so I just keep this at about 8,000. If I, if there's a lot of moving around, I'll change this to 8,500. And I usually want to keep this at about, not 90, 60. Make sure you keep the bit, this at 60. Always keep this at 128 um, kilobytes per second. Your audio doesn't need to be perfect. But you want to make sure that it's at <clears throat> 80 or 48 gigahertz or kilohertz. And you want to keep it at stereo. Otherwise, if it's at mono, it'll come through the other earpiece. It'll only come through, like, I think it's the left one. But if you want no audio, then just click that. And then you can, I don't know, add sound in the background by clicking add music. I always keep it at 128 because audio sounds crystal clear just like that. And... That's about it, guys. Once you do that, you just click Save. Nope, because I already have it. Then once it's saved, you just... It'll save to whatever file you have it saved to. So I will save a video quick. Um, let's see if we can find this video. We'll name it... Test. Make sure you have it set to MP4. Don't set it to Windows Movie Maker, WMV, you, or Windows, Windows Movie Video. You do not want to do that. 
media video file, whatever. You do not want to set it to that, otherwise it will be all pixelated, and that's a lot of times why people say Windows Movie Maker sucks. No, it doesn't, guys. This is the uh, this is the exact same thing that Iwasoft, I think it is. It's a free video converter. It's the exact same thing it uses. It's the exact same thing Handbrake uses. It's right there. Just click save, and it will start saving the video. It'll take a little bit, though. It will take about... I usually go by per minute of video, so this will probably take about half an hour, give or take. Nah, I think it's take. Be about 20 minutes to half an hour. And that's about it, guys. I'm going to cancel this. And then I do not want to save. And then that is it, guys. That's all you got to do. I will see you guys next time.